We going spear fishing. We going spear fishing. Today we going out there. We going spear fishing. It's been raining all morning, but the sky is starting to clear up a bit. Oh, I need to trim my. Is that? I gotta trim this. We'll duck on under that. Oh, look at this. I, I hardly fit through here. I really gotta trim these mangroves. Right now, I'm about to load the boat down. Captain Dan is coming over. We're gonna head offshore, out to the patch reefs. We're gonna try to get ourselves a hogfish. And I got a secret weapon today. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know why, but I got like Costa Rica vibes right now. Everything's like rain wet, rain foresty wet. Just feels like Costa Rica. But, pinfish trap. Gonna open this bad boy up and we're gonna stuff it full of lobster heads. And then once we get out to the spear fishing grounds, we're gonna put this on the bottom and all the lobster juices in there, it's gonna bring the hogfish in. At least that's the plan. I've never done it before, I've never tried that, but it seems like it would work. Finish loading the boat, Dan's gonna come here, and then we're heading out. We're at the spot. Look who we got on the boat. Hey, it's me. Look who I'm with. I'm with Typhoid Mary. No. Oh. <laughs> Get away from me with that thing. Jeez. All right. I'm recovering, okay? I'm not infective. Recovering what? Alcoholic. <laughs> we got our dive flag up. I just took a bunch of lobsters, put them in that trap, crushed up the heads and some claws. We throw that down there. So we still got a bunch of lobster heads. But we got like five lobster heads down on the bottom right now. Soaking up and the hogs are gonna come. We got our lobster sticks, pole spears, guns. We're hogging it today, it's hog day. Hog day. National hog yeah, day. Yeah, time to jump in the water. <laughs> Shook that box, and the fish are going crazy down there.
That hole is loaded. Oh, he's a good one. So that hogfish got off after the first shot, swam into a rock, and then my battery died, but Dan went back down and uh Because I lost him for a second. You showed me where the rock was. Yeah. I was like, oh there he is. <laughs> that's a that's a good boy. Well, I couldn't figure out which way to shoot him. Because on one side the rock was small, and then on the other hand. That big hole, but I couldn't, I would have hit him in the back. Yeah. So. Damn, look at that mouth. So that's a good shot, right by the jaw. Went right through. Oh, baby, you're a beauty. Yeah, we got big lobsters. Big nice lobsters. Big, nice big lobsters. boy. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Am I pleased? Yes. I busted the cherry on my new, uh, on my new pole. Full spear yeah. cherry busted. I'm gonna send down some more frozen lobster hooks. Man, he was ripping the shreds out of that Thank you.
about hog fishing, you can really take your time <laughs> to get the right shot on them. <laughs> yeah. Good looking cooler. Oh man, Alright, we each got our hogfish. We got I think six lobster, maybe more. Kind of lost count. Yeah. We got a nice little sunset. We're gonna head back. Drink a beer. Got it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. And there you go. You, it was a good day. Yellow especial. Beautiful day. Got my knife. Gonna fillet me some hogfish? What a freaking day. It's it's the next day. Yesterday we caught them hogfish. He's still on the boat. I left him on some ice. I'm gonna go fillet him. I already got, where are they at? My lobster tails. Woo-wee! Caught some lobster, shot a hogfish. You know, it was a good freaking day. We're gonna flay him up and then um, I think we're gonna do like a lobster hogfish something. I, I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know yet. I'm stoked. It's the first time I went spearfishing since I got sick. It did hurt my lungs a little bit. <laughs> it just felt good being able to get out there again. <laughs> Oh, there's still a couple of cold beers in there. Look at that, look how white that meat is. Holy smokes, look at that. That's white, white. Yeah, buddy. Good looking fillets. The best. We're gonna boil up two of these lobsters. 
I got both hogfish fillets here. Boy, look at that. They're like crystal white. They're almost translucent, like a clear. It's amazing. One of them, I'm gonna do the red, white, and blue uh, blackening. That bad boy right there. And the other one, I'm gonna do the sweet heat with a small touch of the Reaper. Give it some, give it a kick. So we'll have a nice spicy sweet one, blackening one. I'm gonna throw that in the pan. I got some rice cooking right now. It's gonna be simple, but it's gonna be real good. I hope. Some fresh hot fish. Mouse, come here. Come here. Come up here. Up here, buddy. Just a touch of the Reaper, because there's a reason it's called the Reaper. That was probably too much, but I like it a little spicy. The rice is done. Heating up some water for the lobster tails. Boiling is my favorite way to make them. And we got some of the red, white, and blue outdoors. Bayside, oh! You know, you want to give a, a nice, healthy dose of that. I'm not afraid to say it. It's like Old Bay, but a lot better. I said it, I said it. And if you want to add a kick to it, you can add a dash of the Reaper, but I'm not going to do that. Not this time. I'm just going to keep it simple. And that looks good. Whoa. Oh, okay. That was not professional at all. Those lobsters are looking good, but we need some butter for them. And I just happened to have some. We got some Kerrygold butter with a dash of the base side on it. And then we're gonna add some garlic and we'll melt that. We also got some oil and butter. Here's our blackened hogfish. Then our sweet heat reaper hogfish. see if these lobster tails are done. Use the big knife, lay the tail out flat, and we'll just break it right down the middle. Already tastes amazing. Pull that meat out and we'll just chop it up. No, I'm not gonna lie, I'm making a mess in the kitchen. Oh snap. Mmm, that hogfish looking good. Oh, here we got our crab. I just pulled it out of the shell. Came out perfectly. Easy peasy. Broke them right in half. Then we're gonna take a fork and you can just pull the meat right out of there. Look at that lobster. Yeah. And you can just throw the shell away. All right, here we go. Things are about to get a little intense. Put the rice on the plate. Okay, the fork goes right through the fish, so we know it's cooked. Mmm! Start with the blackened one. Put on that rice. That's the sweet heat on the rice. Okay, we want to chop all the lobster into bite-sized pieces so I can dip it in the butter. Oh, the lobster is really hot. Okay, we'll kind of shimmy that along the edge here. Okay, I'll make room for the butter. I do have some leftover mango salsa. That was really good last time. 
which I will put in the center. There's our melted butter. And that is my dinner. Actually, that's my lunch. All right, we got two lobsters, a hogfish on top of a bed of white rice, mango salsa and melted butter. You know we're gonna start with the lobster. Ah! No! Mmm, that was, there's no words to describe that. Where's my fork? Let's try this fish. This is the sweet heat. Sweet heat. Wow. Blackening. Let's see which one's my favorite. That one was so good. Hey, big bites. That's really good. The sweet heat with the Reaper is way more unique, which makes it a little more fun for me to eat. But the blackening, if you like blackening, this blackening will explode in your mouth. But I had blackened fish like the last three times, so. Hmm, uh, some lobster. Some more lobster and the, mm, mm, the mango salsa with the sweet. <laughs> had a good time out there, Dan. Here's some behind the scenes. This is what happens to the kitchen after cooking one meal. There's stuff everywhere. They're seasoning all over the counters. There's stuff all over the floors. <laughs> now I'm gonna clean up for the next hour, and then I'm gonna edit video for the next eight hours. Uh. <laughs>